Hi everybody, I'm Judy Sandrock, one of the co-founders of X in a Box. And uh, today I'm actually sitting under an umbrella. Uh, that's why you can see I've got this uh, picnic tablecloth because we always say in X in a Box you can build a satellite under a tree, but today I'm actually under an umbrella. So yeah, um, in the box uh, you will have received a number of these bags with your X in a box components, or as we call them, X chips, and of course some connectors. And what I've done is that I've actually unpacked uh, a lot of it already so that you can actually see what it's like. So today what we have is we've got two layers of the CubeSat interfaces that we're gonna be using. And you can see what I've already decided is that I'm going to have three uh, times two X chips for my uh, top payload. Uh, it's going to look like that. And then for my bottom payload, I'm actually going to have two by two. And the great thing about this interface is that one can actually um, decide, are you going to have three in a line or are you only going to have two in a line? Because that depends very much on the payload that you're putting together. What I've also got, which is not in your kit, uh, are these spacers, and uh, I've got um, I've got the metal ones uh, as as well as the um, PVC ones, but it, it doesn't really matter. It depends very much on your application. So these are the X chips that I've decided that I'm going to have on the top, um, facing outwards of my CubeSat engineering model. I have over here the SL01, which is the light sensor that is in most of our kits, actually. It's uh, in our STEM starter kit um, and a number of the Arduino kits. So this one is going to give me visible light, uh, ultraviolet light as well, and um, UVA and UVB. Here I've got our OC01, which is an output control, so that what I can do is that I can actually connect... Um, I can actually connect to this. I can connect some wires to it. And so that what I can do is that I can actually uh, control uh, some kind of output that I want. Maybe maybe I want to have a, a burn wire to release it from a, um, a, a parachute or a, a high altitude balloon, something like that. So I'm going to have that on the top. Uh, then I'm, this is a weather sensor, SW02. This is a fabulous weather sensor. It gives us temp temperature, pressure, humidity, as well as volatile organic components and compounds, volatile organic compounds and carbon dioxide equivalent. Here I have another light sensor. As you can see, sensor light 19. This is an infrared sensor. And uh, this is actually the exact sensor that goes on the ThinSat missions. Uh, launched out of uh, Wallops Island, uh, Virginia, USA. It's also a fairly pricey sensor. So maybe if you decide you don't want to ha use this particular sensor, what you could do is you could put in our mechanical um, redundancy chip, X chip, so that what we have is we have our mechanical strength um, and we still have our I squared C and we still have our pi power lanes um, that we've uh, saved probably in the region of, well, it's definitely over $150 by, by not having this X chip in there. But for today, uh, since I have it already and I've already opened the bag, I'm going to put it in. Here we have our um, AA battery unit and this battery unit will actually not only give us power from the batteries, but it'll also give us current and voltage, which are very, very useful uh, data sets to have because then we can actually see uh, how healthy our batteries are, how much power our circuits are consuming, or at least our, our payload is consuming. If I wanted to, I could also just have USB power that I could connect it to if I didn't want to. If, if I was doing... Um, desktop studies and working on a, a workbench and not necessarily launching my satellite on a high altitude balloon, 
I could just use the USB power instead of using up the batteries. For our top layer, what I've decided to do is, I mean, sorry, for the bottom layer, what I've decided to do is to have the core there. Here I've selected the CS11, which has our CPU as well as a slot for an SD card. So what I'm doing is that I'm going to have that on the bottom uh, over here so that what I can do is once I've constructed my CubeSat, I can actually then uh, put the SD card in and out. The radio uh, for, my, for my data, I don't necessarily need this radio uh, to be facing upwards, not like these sensors which need to have access to, uh, un unrestricted access to the environment. Um, so the radio is also going to go on the bottom. This is our navigation chip, SN01, which is actually our um, GPS unit. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have that as well on the bottom. And this is our SI01, which is our IMU. And this X chip will give us magnetometer, gyroscope, and accelerometer in XYZ. So this guy uh, can also be on the bottom. He can give us G-force, pitch, yaw, and roll, uh, just with some clever coding and um, configuration. Right, so now what we're going to do is now we're going to start constructing our CubeSat engineering model. You can see that this is uh, the CubeSat interface. So this is the PC-104 uh, connector, which is common to all CubeSats, especially student uh, CubeSats. So you can see that um, this connector will actually, you can stack them. So that's how we're going to do this, is we're actually going to, to stack our CubeSat. So what I've done is that I've already put these spaces in uh, to my bottom piece so that I can start building. So let us start uh, actually putting together um, the base of our CubeSat. So we're going to, I've got more, um, I've got more connectors if I need them. What I'm also doing is that this CS11 has got a reset button. So the thing is that I don't necessarily want the reset button to be exposed when it's flying on the balloon, but that's okay because it's going to be pretty well protected because it's going to be inside my CubeSat. So we construct our CubeSat exactly the way we would with any of our X chips using the same connectors. So these are the same connectors that we also use on the, on the ThinSat missions. Uh, so they, they go into orbits. Uh, and uh, the X chips themselves are very rigid because they're small. And um, the connectors actually provide the shock absorber. So they act as little shock absorbers um, on the on the satellite missions. So there we go. This back plate, this pl back plate is so that we have mechanical strength. Um, and what we do is we call it the um, Edmondson plate, named after William Edmondson, Dr. William Edmondson, who actually recommended it. Good. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna add a few more spaces here so that we can it doesn't really matter if you have the metal or the PVC spaces at all You see, the thing is, what I can do is now I can actually still access my, my SD card slot uh, because I have, it on the, I have it on the base. Right, now 
for the top of our satellite. What we're going to do is we're going to have three in a line. This, uh, this extra, of course, takes up uh, two spaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the four on the top together like this. I need more connectors. Where are my connectors? Here we go. The connectors can be used multiple times. In fact, our manufacturer says we can use them up to a hundred times each but when we launch satellites into orbit we of course use new connectors you may find that with the, the new connectors straight out of the box they can be very very stiff so don't worry um, you may need to apply a little force here we go Base plate. What I want to do is I actually want to put another spacer in. There we go. Great. So there we have it. What I could do is if I want to see what's actually going on in terms of my code and whether the data is being collected, etc., I could add, see, I can add my OLED screen temporarily before I fly it. Um, what I want to, if I want to, I can actually use my USB power, just really connecting it anywhere as long as it connects to the circuit, so I could actually connect this directly to the bottom over there. Now we have our CubeSat engineering model and we can actually start to experiment.